what I'd like to do is um, now check the table flatness by using my finest sandpaper grade and lightly taking a pass on it. I can feel a very slight bump. You can see where the dirt is still back here. That's probably a low spot, but it's pretty pretty darn flat, you know. Uh, so it's just some insurance to make sure we're there. Now the flat spot. If it's severe, this one's really not severe, but I've seen worse ones, and you can actually feel by rocking the mouthpiece near the tip where that is. The other thing I like to do to locate it is to get your glass gauge out, and um, I measured that the worst of it was around 8 on the glass gauge, so I kind of mark where 8 is. It gives me, gives me a reference right there. Um, so, you can put this on there and rock it down, and that helps you also tell where it's at. But what I want to do is kind of try to feel and see where that flat spot is and not cut there anymore. So once you have it, you need to rock back or forward to cut on either side of it. I'm going to do a little of both. I'm going to rock back, cut before it a little. Again, I'm going to use just the fine. I look at it, and it cleaned up from here to here on this side and a little higher on that side, so maybe I can rock into it a little further than that. Okay, and then I want to clean up the tip rail a little. So uh, I went forward until I'm sure that I have. You can also tell by the uh, skid marks. You know, if you've got two skid marks, you're not cutting the tip rail. If you're cutting the tip rail, you're going to see a, a smear of, you know, down the middle. Okay, tip rail's already getting a little wider. getting something there to work with. Um, I also want to mark where that crookedness and that bump was in the facing. In fact, I don't think I'm, I'm going to use my, uh, this is fresh sandpaper, I'm not going to use the, the coarse sandpaper at all on this one. So it was crooked back at 42 and a half or so and had a bump at like 32 and 26 and a half, so 32 and 26 and a half, okay. So the bump, I like to use since it's minor. If it's major, you can just lean one way or another, but if it's a minor bump, try to make sure I want to cut more on the right than the left, lay down two strips of sandpaper. I got that backwards. Always good to double check. I'm going to move my lighting so I can see my mark a little better. I also know that leaning just a little bit off a level is where that bump is. And again, you can look at it to see where the scuff mark is to make sure you kind of get in the right spot. That helps while the rails are dirty. After you reface everything and they're shiny, it doesn't help quite as much. But I did, while learning, another thing you can do is you can actually blacken spots of the rail just so that you get your bearings and use that as, you know, an indication that you're... You get in the right area. If if the black goes away from your marker, you know you're in the spot you want. You know you're 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 in the right place. Okay, so 
let me get the high spot then. So you see I'm, cor I'm trying to correct several problems before measuring up the facing again. How do you know how many times to go? I'm just, you know, experience and judging and the fact that it's a metal mouthpiece and fine sandpaper, it's probably not moving too fast. So, let's see. It's a good start. I may have to go more, though, but... Based on this, I really can't cut any on the outside yet, so I may have to go a little more. It's also possible that I, I may elect not to fix that. You know, that's not something that's critical. Um, if I can get the rest of the, the rest of the facing, the flat spot fixed without, you know, taking out that crooked uh, curve, I can live with that. So I'll measure it up again and we'll see how much closer our results are. first reading, I'll have to fix that. Could be a little, just a speck of dirt on the uh, table tube. on the second reading from my initial readings. Okay, I'm just going to go through the rest of these and then show you the, the plot. So, didn't cut much here, uh, that was about the same, but did move this bump up, did move this one up a little bit too, so we did make progress uh, where I was hoping to make progress. Now let's measure the tip opening. I'll turn off the light so you can see that. But So we still got a little bump there, I want to cut this a little more, this looks pretty good, and we still got to work on some of the crookedness back in the beginning, or make sure the table's clean. Still 104. So didn't cut it much and uh, tip opening still measuring the same. Now the tip rail thickness though it's just a tad thicker. It was 16 thousandths. The way I do that is through the magnifying get my head in there have to get the lighting right. And it's kind of a the best that I've come up with measuring this. Most guys don't even bother measuring it, but I use it. I got twenty seven thousand so it's a little thicker. Okay, so we'll uh work on the Okay, so we'll work on the facing curve until we dial it in, and then I think we'll be done on this. <laughs>